Yeah, I grew up in uh, Bolgatanga in the Upper East region. I think of coming back to Ghana to help my own people in soybean production. Uh, I'm currently uh, doing a post-tutorial post uh, research with Mississippi State University right in Ghana here. Mississippi State is a land-grant university and it's not only ex doing research in, in, in the U.S., but trying to reach out to the poorest of the poor countries. And Ghana is a developing country and we think that we should ex extend our, our expertise to a developing country like Ghana. That's why I'm here. Yeah, Smart Manager is an acronym. That means Soybean Management with Appropriate Research and Technology. This was developed in Mississippi State. And we think that bringing this into Ghana, and particularly into northern region, northern part of Ghana, in soybean production will boost the yield. Now, when you talk of uh, the smart farm, we are looking at all the components that help in bringing up or increasing yields, soybean yields, right from soil fertility to the weather to seed quality and management. These are the factors that come together. Farmers think that, I mean, just planting and waiting at the end to see yield. No, all the factors of the soil, soil fertility and the weather changes in weather conditions all come up in either increasing yield or reducing yield. So the small farm looks at all the factors that will help in, in increasing yield. Yeah, we have uh, three uh, locations in, in the three northern regions. One in Yankwala, one in Wa, and then another one in Boku. These are three different ecological zones, particularly with Boku. It's, a different, uh, it's in the Sudan, Savannah. And then uh, the three locations are also mandated by Sari uh, to man the areas. And because we are a soybean innovation lab is uh, collaborating with SARE, we think that these three locations are spaced enough to give us a representative results to be able to report. For the first years of the smart farm, we are doing the smart farm on station to see what will be the nature of the results. So far we know we can increase soybean yields to 2,000 kilograms per hectare. Now these results will have to be translated on farmers' fields because now farmers' yields from farmer fields are less than 1,000 kilograms. And if research can tell us that we can increase yields to 2,000 kilograms, that means that we should be able to extend that to the farmer's field to encourage farmers to be able to get that target yield. <laughs> 